Hey, AP Calc, AB students, Mr. Record here for our final video in the series concerning integration recap, how to deal with similar looking integrands and the different integration techniques that are going to be used. So this is our example three in this putting it all together series. And if I scroll down and you've already hopefully watched example ones and two, definitely will make a little bit more sense. It'll flow a little nicer if you've had a chance to watch those videos first. And that'll bring us down here to example three. One more comparison of three similar integrals. So what we're going to do here is, mat is find each of the following integrals if possible. And if we look at our first one, the integration of dx over x ln of x, this is something that kind of <laughs> tends to show up a little bit from time to time. It kind of rears its ugly head in BC a little bit more often. And it's kind of tricky because we, we don't have anything in the numerator besides 1, which pretty much says the only chance that we have of integrating this is to probably let u equal something in the denominator. But you want to be very selective about your choice, because if you let u equal the entire expression in the denominator, there's nothing left over to match with your derivative. So if you think about this just a little bit, hopefully your mind kind of focuses in on that ln of x, because we know the derivative of the ln of x is 1 over x. Swing over your dx. And what does this mean? Well, I'll tell you what this means. 1 over x dx, which is here, and here happens to be the du value in this problem. So essentially, what you have here is a problem that's just asking you to integrate 1 over u with respect to u. And because we know our formula is natural log of absolute value of u plus c, it's a pretty quick hit and integral answer. The only thing that you might have to do at the end is back substitute. And I'm going to warn you, there's some weirdness going on in this back substitution because the u is the ln of x. So you got the natural log of the absolute value of the natural log. And you want to make sure that you keep the absolute values around this because ln of x can take on negative values. Right? The graph of ln of x, if you recall a little bit from your algebra days looks a little something like this. So this part of the graph could be negative and we want to safeguard against that. All right, well, let's take a look at part B. Maybe we can use some of the information that we glean from part A. If we were to think about a U substitution here, hopefully your mind is on that same idea. Natural log of X is the way to go. The derivative of that u is going to be, once again, 1 over x dx. And dare I say it again, this 1 over x dx that we have right here is exactly what's in our integrand that will take the place of our du. Now, there is a bit of a difference, though. You don't want to think that this problem is the same exact answer, because it's not. In this problem, you're going to integrate u in the numerator now. And so we're going to use our power rule, which is, of course, u squared over 2 plus c. And then we can finalize this by replacing the u with our ln of x and writing it as such. So just the placement of where the ln of x is from being in the denominator versus being in the numerator, where the x stays in the denominator, makes this a completely different type of integral at the end. Now if we take a look at part C, now remember I'm teaching this from the standpoint of an AB student. So if you're a BC student watching this, you might be thinking, hey, I know how to integrate this. Well, as far as we are, st are standing right now, C cannot be integrated. Cannot be integrated. And you know what? I just noticed I just don't know how to speak English. In my last video, I said integrating. So I'm going to change that. <laughs> Cannot be integrated using calculus AB. And the reason is there's just not enough going on. Now I will tell you, there is a BC technique. In BC, you're going to learn something called integration by parts. 
and integration by parts will do a pretty good job of taking care of this little ln of x and it's not a really complicated integration formula it's just something that we don't bother to teach for the ab students because you got enough to worry about getting ready for your exam so integration by parts is going to come up in your bc course and you'll be able to tackle here all right hopefully this helps out a little bit with our comparison series for the uh, 6.14 topic, we have just a, another video or two to kind of wrap up things with Unit 6, and then we can put this long, long, <laughs> very arduous, uh, month and a half long uh, unit to bed as we move on to the final two parts of Calculus Unit 7 and 8. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time.